Are you sure? Are we on? We're on. Hey, check, check. Where are you going to go? To the gas station. That's the only thing I think gets close to that. So Liz, what are you doing okay. in San Fran? What's, I mean, what's a day in San Francisco like for you? Wait, could you repeat the question? I just asked, what's your typical day in San Francisco? Oh. Depends on time of year, really. Um, before we started doing this, it was laying in bed for a while. Actually, I wasn't doing much before I, like, I started doing this. I wasn't really like, leaving the house too much. I like, went down um, at the bottom of a trough. Um, but, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know if I know how to answer this question. That's okay. I like San Francisco. I usually wake up. I go over to my friend John's house, and John owns a t-shirt company. Um, and uh, I do a lot of sewing, so I'm working on a jacket that I've been sewing over at his house. And it's uh, usually music at night. Early, like into the early morning, strange things. But <laughs> in the fall, I work a lot. Is that on? Mm hmm. In the fall, I work a lot. End of end, end, of, end transmission. Right. <laughs> so, I was going to ask you uh, what you wanted to, what instrument you wanted to play. When? Right now. Probably get my mandolin. We out. have a banjo and a ukulele too. Mandolin's in the car. I get that out. I just got it fixed up. And yeah. You and Zach's not at Fretwells anymore. Really? Yeah, I just heard that today. For all kinds of stuff. I know, man. What, what else? I walked into a grapevine today. So wow. Touches out of well, kid. Right. What happened, Fretwells? Yeah, I guess Zach's not there anymore. He's a, he's one of the guys who fixes he he Lucy or um, guy who works there and he fixes up basically everybody who lives in Stanton who plays takes their stuff there for the most part. Right. But well, we all had our shit fixed a year ago. He definitely ago has fixed and, and like now, five of it, my instruments. And nothing's broken since then. Yeah. It's good. It does good work. Got this nice diaphragm mic hooked into the Where's stream. Where's the camera? Is it in the? It's uh, in the computer. Oh, okay. So it's over there. I see. Oh, there we are. Okay. <laughs> Been doing any magic lately? Not enough. I'm hoping to take more stuff with me from here that'll make me do some shit that was I mean that's sort of like synonymous almost but like sometimes I just get so focused is that like it's pretty intense <laughs> I just see this ray of neon like woo. Oh, that's so much better thank you um I get so focused, like in a particular direction, for a while because I'm thinking about something, or I'm, I'm working something out, and uh, like magic will fall by the wayside, and people will be like, "Oh, you got, you should do, you got to do magic again," and like people ask for for it and yeah. stuff. Good. But it's it's a uh, even like the the doing the kids show thing. It's like these are these are not light things to me. Yeah. Like, there's no, and I wish. I wish there should be, but it's just, it's one of my issues in life. There's no light version of it. It's it's all like a flip of a switch. I could look at it all completely differently, and suddenly I'd be doing a lot more magic and be doing kids shows galore because I would just would not have the expectations. I would 
and I wouldn't expect so much from myself and I would just go and see what it had to offer me. It's probably a more selfish version of myself that would be a lot more delightful. But like I <clears throat> I just don't work that way. I've, I, if I did a kid, kid show at Delfest, I'd be thinking about it all week. What am I going to do? Be plotting, planning, be coming prepared. I'd know which magic tricks I was going to do. And I would, you know, I'd have it all planned out. And then after I executed my plan, I would be thinking about, you know, what went wrong? What went wrong? Right? <laughs> it's like a whole thing. It's like, and it's like. Yeah. Meanwhile, I have two other sets at Del Fest that really is what my career right. is. Why I'm out here, like, <laughs> trying. But you know, at the same time, if I just flip the switch, you know, even though that's true, that preparation would make my adult sets that much better because maybe that distraction is just what I need sometimes, and you know, it's like it's all a flip of the switch. <clears throat> about about this because he's done you know, children's sets before and things for kids and I mean I don't I don't necessarily look at Josh and be like oh my god that's somebody who I want playing for my kids <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but just like his like I kind of like you know I've gotten to know him a little bit and it, and it, you know and it, ha it all has to do with frame of mind it really does um, and I think that like the way he looks at it he's just like I know. I I completely see him doing that. I mean, to me, it's not even. That's that's so not a stretch. Just do a set. Of course, Josh. But of course, Josh could do that. Who is who is Josh? He's a tea leaf green oh, okay. lead singer guitarist. We're actually seeing him tomorrow night. Down in Roanoke. Mm -hmm. right? Where yet? Where is that? I have no idea. There's children sets too, like a really family set. So you got adults there too. Dad and A play the children's tent at Boyd. You know, it's right. like a place that don't say any cuss words. Right. You know? Right. Don't smoke in front of the kids. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I mean, the bottom line of sort of what I'm saying is that I'd love to do it. I just want to be really fucking great at it when I do it. Mm -hmm. You're just perfectionist. Yeah, there's not like some part of me that's just like. I mean, I could blow, I could be the best kids performer of all time. We could, <laughs> I would want to be, I would want to change their little lives. And you hate kids, that's the weird thing. <laughs> change their stupid lives. <laughs> their pathetic, little, yeah, like little. That's so, that's so interesting, though, Nathan, because, like, like, thinking about Ty, Ty's, Son, for instance, and you've seen, you've met Ty's son before. You know, he's been around at the festivals and everything. And what is he? He's like tw twelve at the most. And like he just is in love with Fred Torfey. He, you know, that is his idol. He mm -hmm. idolizes Fred Torfey and his guitar playing. And like, and it's like seeing you with the done for it, Fred. Like, you know, it's kind of like. And that, and that little boy at Swanee who just came and like sat down and was just so like, and that is like, that is just like in there for them. That is shaping their, the rest of their lives possibly, you know, and, and, and you're, you're not doing anything. You're not being amazing or perfect at it, you know, you're just, that's what you're doing. All right. And they're, they're into that. So there is, this, you know, a group of kids that are going to be super influenced by what you do no matter how you do it right Cassidy uh, so I know I know I have a perfection thing too and it's something that you just have to get over right I think that <laughs> <laughs> yeah well I think right. your strength with kids like you were saying about the thing at Puffer Bellies is you talk to them and not at them right you know a lot of adults talk at kids right and you don't do that. And that's why I'm like, I think one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make around kids is that they don't, they, they treat them as like a kid, and what do I do with this kid? And, and, and in reality, like, my friend Chad, who passed away, it was one of, the, like, had such amazing, like, big, scary, kind of smelly bear dude, hair, you know, like, any kid would be like, oh, well, you know, any older person would be kind of afraid of this guy, but he just had this, like, na like natural way of 
just like being with a kid that was like he would be with me the same way and 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 they it's they respect that they know that they're not these little kids they're right. even mm-hmm. more perceptive than mm-hmm. actual we are because they were they really so are. deluded even right. it's like he and charlie sometimes i'm like i can't believe that anybody thinks i'm that cool I was watching Charlie one day, and Boston came home, and she started crying. And both of us were like, oh my god, what's wrong? And she was like, I don't want Miss Heather to leave. And I was just like, I can't believe anybody thinks I'm that fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is just like, you know, because you are little, and you kind of are, you know, that's what people are like, you look up, you know, you're looking up at. really are cool. <laughs> like, it's like, you really are, you really are cool. Maybe, maybe one of the big problems is that kids take in, like you're saying, re- much more receptive than they can right. communicate that. So right. what they feel, they can't outwardly express maybe the way we would like to hear that. So we think what they're expressing, we have to go to that level, but it's not really like that. Right. You give them more than you think they can handle. As opposed to giving them at a level which you which you're able to express, and when you give them more, you're constantly forcing that ceiling up, and they have to keep growing right. that ceiling. We don't you don't lower that ceiling for them. You keep right. it up, and they have they'll have to get they'll have to grow with that. The grow, Nathan. It's like treat. Come on, Nathan. Yeah, treat kids as your intellectual equal, and they will be. Yeah. So on the on the the creepers are saying kids shows are fun, but then again I play in a kids band sometimes. Too hard to live up to his own expectations. Sally Queen says, but I would love to have kids at my at a fiasco. Polly Lama says, oh, and I don't have kids. Nine Lives says no kids here. Nine Lives no room for them. Ha ha ha. Sally Queen, I think it depends on the kids. Lisa B, no idea who's in with Liz and Nathan, a man and woman at least. <laughs> Sally Queen, yeah, we hosting Fiasco and banning kids, we've decided. <laughs> Nine lives, I don't have kids, so it's easy for me to say no kids. Lisa B, and the kids will be with their parents at your regular set, so we'll see you then. Lisa says, there were two tiny kids at my Fiasco, I had no idea it was freaking, freaking him out so much. Sally Queen, isn't that funny, Lisa? Lisa, in being me, if I do another fiasco, I'm going to load it with kids. (laughs) (laughs) Sally Queen, totally, Lisa. My crew of kids would change his mind anyway. You don't have to come down to kids' level. Jesus. Lisa, exactly. Kids are a lot smarter and more aware than they get credit for. Sally Queen, yuppers. They are raised by adults. We don't talk down to them. And Lisa says, my nieces and nephews continuously blow me away. Of course they do. It's it's just, I mean, it's amazing how they kill art. I mean, it's, it's glorious. <laughs> That's it. (laughs) (laughs) Who am I? (laughs) Who am I? Shouted on the corner of two streets. Who am I when looking to the bottom of a bottle? I'm somewhere between Baudelaire and Mad Magazine. Full throttle But I don't think God makes mistakes And I don't think I'm really doing wrong Some days I think I don't know what I'm thinking Thinking I could ever write this world a song 
Whom I played on a stage last night in Georgia Who am I yet? Eggs in Mississippi And on the phone I could hear it in her voice She was naked And I could tell She didn't miss me But I don't think God makes a mistake I'm really doing wrong You should get that out now, I think Some days I think I don't know what I'm thinking Thinking I could ever write this world a song oh, I don't think God makes mistakes, no And I don't think I'm really doing wrong Some days I think I don't know what I'm thinking Thinking I could ever write this world a song Who am I, my name? No, there's no stranger word. Who am I, my own mother does not recognize me? Why would I insult this pitiful world? Looking into the eye, such beauty. Cause I don't think God makes mistakes And I don't think I'm really doing wrong Some days I think I don't know what I'm thinking Thinking I could ever write this world a song Thinking I could ever write this world a song Are we? We haven't planned that far. That's a uh, Rennie DeVito, my buddy Rennie, playing the mandolin there. That's Maybe we should get him to sit in this stool, put him on the spot. The stool's not very comfortable. I know, it's not. <laughs> this chair with clothes piled up in it is actually kind of nice. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Liz discovered that last night. Maybe I should sit my ass in a stool. Is this your week of changing clothes, just cycling through them on this? On this uh... that's, the, that's the price you have to pay, though. Oh, that's Yeah, so.
was the first guy I ever played this song with, I think. I can't believe all I've seen is over I can't believe how beautiful it's been so far So far I rode the road New York to San Francisco it Took ten years To make it to the Shenandoah Quite a few cars Quite a few cars And I'm driving to the radio Dancing with the rabbits On the stretch of country road Right down the way, and tonight I feel like playing. Play. Tonight I feel like playing. Oh, and Daniel's gonna be there, that's such a good feeling. And I bet that's laughter, it's gonna shake the ceiling. So see what I'm saying. On this stretch of country road Rolling home Rolling home Sure, I'm bound to miss the highway. No one around right here could ever know how good I was at that. But I miss them more. I'd miss them more. Who knows? I might meet a girl that wants to go. Maybe I could take her there. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. So I'm driving to the radio, dancing with the rabbits on this stretch of country road. Right, I th didn't she give up on those, right? No, I didn't give Looks up. Looks like the rat got into that one. 
Came up on a, I'm alright. Oh, you, you, uh, okay. I thought you just handed it to her like that. I was like, <laughs> you better watch out. Like, like that. No, it's just a hoda. Alright, we can't get so distracted by the camera that we forget to drink, you know. <laughs> I was trying to read the, uh. What do, what do they say? That whole kid conversation was great. Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, we, oh my god. Look, my new screensaver. This shit went. You gotta see the picture I took. I, I tagged the no filming sign where he has a baby fiasco card. <laughs> <laughs> Zorro. <laughs> that was their no filming sign? Yeah. There's a couple of them up. Did they put that up after you guys filmed? After they did. How come? There was some. Yeah. You're banned, bro. You're banned from the store. Where's man? No man. This is before I tagged it, but that's me in front of the no filming sign. That is a new presence at Marino's lunch. The Stanton Institution now has a no filming sign. I actually. Hello. I actually taped a hippie fiasco sticker to that poster right there. I gotta go in there and like double st like double up on the tape on that thing. I was I was bragging. I, I, I teased them though. It was beautiful. I mean, it's it's a it's a true it's a true place. You know, Marinos had a shit list on their wall for years, and I was bragging about this sign to the owner of the establishment all night. I was like. I was like, I was telling people about Hippie Fiasco. I was like, you gotta go to Hippie Fiasco. We're the whole reason for these signs. <laughs> I was like bragging about it. I was like, you know, beer in hand, handing out a we got a lemon. When I was there, I set the shit up in the corner. Nobody even knew it was there. They maybe just didn't like me. I was like, you see, you see these signs on the walls? We did that here. We got a lemon. HippieFiasco.com. We got a lemon again. I know, isn't that great? <laughs> it's a great sign. Wait, what? That's that should be our our like VHS cover of our of our feature length that we're making. Okay. But only on VHS. <laughs> dude, only on beta, dude. No beta. Well, what were those CDs that were like this? Big? The laser discs. Yeah. Yeah, laser discs and beta all day long. Keeping <laughs> it super old school. It's like you don't want to put out a vinyl. Like everybody's putting vinyl out, you know. Like that's our, right. that's redone already. Dude. Right, right. Beta, dude. A track, <laughs> dude. A track is a -track the real track is way the to way to go. go. You know, nobody's got the A track players anymore, though. You know. Everybody has VHS. It'd be amazing though. if there's someone actually like really famous, like the Beatles, right now or something, and they decided to put out something only on eight track. <laughs> So and everybody had, there was like a mad rush we for all the mean. flea markets and thrift stores and shit. Oh my god, like, Nathan, shh. <laughs> Save that one. <laughs> <laughs> that one in the clients. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. If YouTube put out something only on a track. Right, right. Come on. And then, you know, just like, got all the critics coked up enough to be like, I mean, because that still works the way it always did. Right, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Got them to go, oh my god, it's the best music I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, but if I'm Bono, I'd stop doing the mass texting thing at a show and do eight tracks. Everybody text this, donate money for Uruguay. We're trying to build a shed in the rainforest, an umbrella in the rainforest. Cry at the 
same time just gets me hot. that Frank oh forgot to hit record all right here we go again from the top we got this one two three So you know, it's so funny that when I think about it, it's really strange. But probably you know, two of my favorite people to play music with on the planet are Rennie DeVito and Brian Elijah Smith, and they both uh -huh. live right here around me. And the weird thing is, is that not only are they my two favorite people to, to play music with, they are the only two people that I've ever really known that at least at some point in their life have gotten into magic at, at the same level that I have, sort of obsessively for... Rennie, when he first discovered magic, he was just, he reminded me of myself and he couldn't get enough. He was, he was visiting me at the YMCA when I worked there for a spell and like asking me to do tricks but really wanting to show me what he'd been working on all night. And, and uh, he got all these books and he... he, he it's been a little while for you in Magic, right? We're not we're not catching him at a point. A couple where weeks. There. Oh, good. That's good to hear. But it's funny. Brian picked up Magic. It's it's just so weird that like the you know like two of my favorite people to play with. And oh, it's uh, Arieni. But all, my... also sh me, Brian, and Rennie on the road doing this Magic uh, musical act. We, it'd be, kids would love it. <laughs> kid for that, that's, oh, that's, kids would that's love it. That's the end with the kids. There you go. <laughs> well, that's why. I, I mean, that's it's it's that's you know the the double edge of the sword. Oh, he he sings nice soft 
music that's not like shred your ears out and put the fucking headphones on the kid. Whoa. And he does phone. magic. <laughs> I hear he does balloon animals too. You know, if you could just get balloon animals down, in one of the best. You are one of the best with the balloon animals. Oh, Lisa just says, I was just thinking tonight that I'm pretty burnt out on the forced late show sex stuff. Definitely more actual sexiness is in order. Well, right. I've been trying to do that. I, you know, I'm not trying to take away from the, the actual sexiness that's going on here. <laughs> oh, God. But, but Sol- maybe <laughs> we had a discussion. Somebody wants to saw me in half. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too. That's kind of sexy. That's super sexy. I mean, sexy. yeah. That's... What, what are they sawing you in half with? I, that's a good question. Right. No, we had a discussion the other day. We, you know, there's the lady is Heather B. You mind if I call you out creeper wise? Nah. Well, that's the that's her creeper name. She's Heather also B. the whole the, the the hippie fiasco corporate headquarters secretary. I, I, you're way more than that, but but HR cool HR title, says too. I can only refer yeah. to you in your, as your job description. So is it, we're, we are now at corporate headquarters <laughs> and like. <laughs> Literally, Heather will be in here, and I'll be on Skype, and I'll be like, "You gotta drag this file over to this folder so I can get my hands on it." And she's been the, uh, she sent in the thing to procrastinate my taxes and everything. She's really the hippie fiasco corporate headquarters secretary with creeper in the house. You know, she has she has definitely aspirations in upper management. <laughs> I went to school for it. <laughs> Her review's coming up. And- so it's so, Administrative <laughs> Professionals Day. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody well, can write wants, letters... Lisa wants to just P.S. I love all caps Chad's show, just saying. She, 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 she does love your show. She's oh, good. well, we've had the discussion, Lisa, and you'll, you'll really appreciate this. There's definitely room, and, and always, for a good chat room orgy. Um, right, I mean, you can't that, rule that out. No, but... And, and you can, you know... But again, you know, it just... It, what time does when does it become just, like, repetitive orgy? You know, like, right. no big deal. I've got lotions and a hair perm now, and candles and stuff, and I'm a weird orgy guy. Like, that's, you know, you don't want it to lose its magic. And so, that's why I've been doing phone-in questions and, and like, participation things that don't involve... I mean, they're still sex topics, but they're not, you know... Full on, like, type boning. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I still got it. It's, you know, it's all a process. It's all a, it, it, In this life, you don't, you don't necessarily get to, you know. They were getting late. You don't, you don't get to do They were getting late with me base. there. I I've thought it was great. I didn't have to do anything. Hetty K was like, Putting on smoking jacket, putting uh, like, you know, putting on his Barry White record or whatever, and I was like, sweet dude, I'm fucking making business calls, oh, and you great. guys are like fucking Do turning it? on the fucking yeah. porno. We're, we're back there off screen in the, in the, in the wings. Hmm? I, I mean, that's that's up to other people. So look that? up. Rooms in Roanoke are fifty bucks. But yeah, we should get one. Uh, great, not my call, but I may. I uh, I suggested it. I said it. You know, it would be really fun to shred with everybody. But you know, I mean, you guys could shred, and I could drive us back if we had to, just for right for you know personal reasons. Shreddy Galactic. No, we don't. I mean, there's no reason to get back here. Why? We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> but I want to stay a little longer. <laughs> We've we gotta, gotta get out. Well, we gotta, gotta get stay. the fuck out of here. But there is a part of me that thinks that maybe we should do like break the rules and do a fiasco at mom's on Friday and leave on Monday, and take two days where I'm not like working on shit. Just doing things. I just I've worked every day. You have. I here. I feel it. I, that's mm-hmm. why I've been distant the last couple days I'm trying to get from the camera like I you know right. get away from and it and like editing all this video Dude, and you're all the sitting, I know I've been, I've been, I've been go bowling or something so, yeah, yeah let's go fucking it, let's go, go bowling, bowling. <laughs> let's go bowling and leave the webcast on the, on the, on the fish the leave the drop a bowling ball in the fish. aquarium and fucking yeah, go be bowling like, we're going bowling have fun with the fish creeper number two like so that's fishes I haven't had I mean it's so funny but, yeah <laughs> <laughs> it could, yeah, be, it could be a good roll. Uh, roll bowling? Bowling's a way to roll? Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah. It's either that or don't do the fiasco. Put on the gutter rails so you don't fail. Just, I think we should do it. Right. I think no we, pressure. You know, and, I mean, and even follow It's sort of suit. perfect. Her back porch. The it's really nice. The fish and shit, and it'll be awesome. And, you know, still, well, I don't know if it's totally gone yet, but I still think we should talk about the Thursday thing. I think we should do it. You yeah, know, whether or not it's that. your ideal dream with, with, you know, everybody who can be there, but, I mean, I still think it's a way for us to raise money for... One of the reasons viewership might have been down for a few days is that we all need a break. Yeah, we all need a break. No, no. Well, and but also and also because fucking um, Coachella was doing, okay. they were YouTubing three stages over the weekend. Oh, wow. So anybody who's watching us is already into watching other shit, you know. Okay, uh, Renny was just trying to say that he had to go, and uh, but I wanted him to stay and play some more music, and so. Uh, to a poll. Well, no, how, not a, not a poll. How about if, if we can get these numbers up, will you stay? Is this a telethon? Yeah, will you, kind of. we, if we, will you yeah. stay if we can get the numbers up here a little kind bit? Of, except sure. there's, there's no money. It might, take, it might take sawing me in half. we got 14 people watching now. And, God, that makes me and, feel uh, like shit. I was at like four. <laughs> Do I mean, you have a camera to Firefly? Oh, is What's Firefly on? The Marina story. What's the thing behind it? Ah, uh, this game. <laughs> I think I think that they just is that Firefly on there? I, think I, I can't see that far. Hi. Hey, hey, Tensor Tame. Renny says he'll stay if we can get the numbers up here. So, so uh, to 102. 102. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to well, break. We're gonna play one. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play one more song here. We're gonna play one more. And not, not, I'm not running you off. You can stay all night. That that might, you know, because if the camera way, we can go in the other room or whatever. <laughs> Dude, just be like, be like, get a room. Did I just get proposition? <laughs> Dude, getting late. Crated reapy. I do need another beer. All right, let's just do this. You know, Remy's not going anywhere. I was just giving, I was just talking out of, out of my cuffs. <laughs> Riffing, and uh, I was, yeah, I was riffing. <laughs> but we're gonna play a song, and when we're done with that song, if the number is at twenty, then we'll play another song, and if it's not, we'll drink beer, smash and our play, instruments, and play another song. In the other Which room. drinking beer is just as entertaining. That's not a as no, but you can drink beer in the other room, right? Are you can play in the other room, right? How about if the number? Oh, we'll go play. Oh, we'll go play in the other room. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And watch the fishbowl. <laughs> How about if it we're gonna put you? We don't. We will come back there. Don't make us put it on the droid and put you in the fish tank. <laughs> we will do it. Don't make me pull this past over. It doesn't get to twenty. We burn this place down. <laughs> don't make me pull this cast over. Oh my god. Okay, before you, I've got to go uh, make a phone call again. It was so much easier with that, that night when, one night, the reason I had thought of this is because that night when Brad was playing, and like he didn't really necessarily want to be playing, but I started like going, all right, as long as the numbers are rising, he'll keep playing, and I like suckered him into that, and it worked like a charm, that chant. Right. Like it was, it was like visceral and happening in real time, and he was playing, and the numbers are rising. I was like, he's, he's going to stop playing. He's gonna stop playing, and he was sounding great. <laughs> it was like, well, you know. I mean, you can totally use it, dude. It's just be like, we're going the other room. <laughs> <laughs> we're still gonna be playing. You this is the, the game roulette. is happening. Skype roulette, <laughs> 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 right? Yeah, we're going on Skype roulette. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. They're gonna go in the other room and maybe Skype you in. Old guy reading his mail. Sin Dusty says, How about we'll all stay if Randy plays one of those fiddles already? Who's that? They might be New Blood. Who is it? Well, explain to them what they're doing. Find out. Let's find out about it. Do you want to be new best friends? Oh, I just got a new friend request from Ryan Kerrigan. How is this happening? How. How am I not his friend on here anymore? He must have deleted me. <laughs> Sin Dusty. That's so funny. Like, a, there's a cat named Sin Dusty. 
I got an email from a guy named Boo Radley today, which is funny because be, it's not Bradley, and it's not the guy who was in what? To Kill a Mockingbird. It was another guy. Yeah, apparently more people know about this Boo Radley than don't.
looking at the girl I love She grew my love She grew my love Tapes. You gotta understand, there's VHS tapes all over the fucking place, and that's really. Oh, there goes done. your copy of Steel Magnolias. <laughs> <laughs> My DVD player ah, broken. Thelma and there's Louise. just VHS play tapes all over the place. I have a DVD player in my car. If you need to borrow one, indefinitely, it's gonna go in my storage unit. Whoa! What's that? This is just perked up. Whoa! <laughs> I said I have free a DVD player. A DVD player in my car. It changes everything. But it can live How long here. did I say we were staying? Uh, <laughs> good night, you guys. Good You're going to good night? So tired. Love you, Chad. All right, Chad. Good night, man. <laughs> good night, man. Get some good sleep. Well. One of these mornings, I'm making sausage gravy. Yeah. I, I still think I'm thinking about that. Like, I'm like, yeah, is this going to be the day? <laughs> is this the day? No, I, I, I'm with you. It's the coffee fucks everything up. Flesh. Yeah. 
bottle back. She a locomotive lying flat. Get off the tracks, boys, if you know what's good. No, you won't, boys. should be. I haven't really played for a week. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I should have gone to you and I'm done. I really should have. Yeah, when you told that story tonight, Marina, is about the person who said they knew you. It was your male guy. At first, I thought you said it was your nail person. That's what I thought. That's what she said. That's what I thought. That's what he said, too. Like, so, like the nail, like, places we're talking about. All right. <laughs> Did I ever? Did I ever? Y'all are enjoying a close up of Nathan's Spins sternum there, right now. Just plugging in my cell phone. <laughs> plugging in my cell phone. <laughs> Get I can, you happy and you know it, clap your hands. I can almost smell you, someone said. <laughs> That's crazy. $9.99. You can get the Ustream odor cam. We've been broadcasting smells the entire trip. Now I'm olfactory vision. <laughs> Tesser Tame! Greetings, brother. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. I was talking, <laughs> I I was talking about you at Marino's earlier. I had a gal, she was the prettiest gal She turned me on and turned me loose Now, she won't even be my pal Silly like a goose Silly like a goose, y'all Silly you are, silly you'll always be Just care for life with keyboards Gather around, let's make some noise Everything happens on Tuesday in the I go to town and I walk around in the little town that hangs a noose. A hangman wears a black evening gown, silly like a goose. A silly like a goose, y'all. Silly you are, silly you'll always be. Careful life, okay, you boys. Turn around, let's make some noise. Everything else on 
Tuesday in this town. Westward train almost caught that thing by the caboose. Now I'm sleeping in the rain. So I could go. Silly go on, silly it always be. This is him. Nathan Moore. And the monkey. Well, you've seen Nathan. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? The monkey. Hey, hey, check, check. Are we peeking out? Does this sound okay? Goosey. How are the levels? We too loud, we too quiet. Rennie, Rennie, R E N E. Someone just called you Remy. That's all right. You get that all the time. Yeah, that's sure. Remy would be a cool name, though, I think. It's not bad. Remy. Kid with a lot named Remy. Remy? I think I've heard Remy before. Yeah. You just sworn I had a Aha! Do you have another one? It's all Neil Young tonight, no kidding. Remy Martin, ah, oh, yeah. That's right. Who's Remy Martin? Somebody saw Neil Young tonight. What? <laughs> Did he smell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how that's just taken off. Jesus. <laughs> so. So bad. bad. Where's the rest of that joke? <laughs> I was nauseous the whole time. Wow. All right, guys. Update your Facebooks. Keep us going. Egg us on. I want to. I want to make some unexpected music. Um, get the numbers up. We were thinking about going and sitting on the porch, but if the numbers come up, we can hang out here longer. Some fresh air up there, though. Good jokes? You got any? You got nothing, man. You got nothing? You got nothing. Right. That's part of the problem. These people are up It's late. part of the problem. I don't know. Watching I mean, I know. I'm, like, reading anything. up you on it. I just can't get my brain around it, you know, like, reading up on it. I'm going to be funny in, like, Give myself a deadline, two weeks. Two weeks to be funny? Mm -hmm. Well, two weeks from yesterday. Why yesterday? I gotta be funny. Well, that's when I said two weeks. I'm gonna be funny in two weeks. I got books out of the library. <laughs> that's worse. I'm studying up on it and <laughs> shit. So, a tall person in front of you is better than having a stinky person next to you at a concert. Really? That's. I think that's the conversation happening. 
We can do a poll. Yeah, that, that's poll worthy. <laughs> I just had a bunch of clothes fall on me. So what does America think? <laughs> right. Tall person in front of you or stinky person next to you? What a show. All right, let's do it. <laughs> A tall do, person like, way worse. You'd have to do it, like, I would agree. I think a tall per- I, think, I think a tall person is worse than I think so. Than a stinky person? Next to you. At least you can I don't know. You could get away with stuff if there's a stinky person next to you though. Like yeah. just blame it on the stinky person. <laughs> and there's you know, there's a bunch of ways around it. You can get around a stinky person and you can get around the tall person too. But if it's seating what and a tall a sti- person's what in front, a stinky tall, a stinky person? tall person. Liz brings up a good point. A stinky tall person is that the worst <laughs> right, ever? That's like the worst. That might be. The <laughs> face while the show's <laughs> happening. That's bad. That's tough. You know, I think out of all of that, like a talking person. Oh, that's a good point. A talking person might be worse than all of those things. A drunk talking person. <sighs> Nathan, that poll might have to have like ten choices. No, I'm just doing the two. I think talking needs to make the poll. No. You don't think so? No, I just want to know. I think talking would go away. I mean, that would be far and away the worst. Yeah, that could stop or start. The others are just facts. Right. How about Gilbert Gottfried at a show next to you <laughs> talking the whole time? Stinking. I like Stinking. <laughs> Here just we eat. go. We're dying to know. He had just eaten a What's sack worse? of garlic. <laughs> oh God. Does that work? Like, Is there a like poll Clint's going now? You? Can we? <laughs> can we really put? Drunk is it too late to put Gilbert? Stinky person beside you has two votes. So, oh, three to one now. Tall person in front of you. I'm going with tall is worse. Three to one now. Stinky person. Oh really? That's winning out. Uh, four to three now. Stinky to tall. <laughs> Great. <laughs> four to three. Stinky to tall. That could. <laughs> All right, we're stopping the poll. It's four to three. Stinky persons are worse beside you than a tall person. It's like a thirty-second poll. You're not giving more people time. Come on now. <laughs> That's not why it's long enough. Yeah. It shows up on their screen. You click it. Like, you don't have to think about it. <laughs> Thank you for participating in the latest poll. We are gathering these statistics as we go, and they will be compiled into a journal submitted to scientific journals all across the country uh, when we get to the end of our trip. Thank you for participating. All right, well, Randy, the numbers haven't risen. But All right. They declined a little bit. All right. I mean, I thought we were playing our hearts out. We disappointed America. Yeah, we did. <sighs> well, we tried, guys. Should we go drown our sorrows? Call Brad. Bridge? That's a, that's the a solution. Who said that? No, I'm saying that. Oh, you're saying that. <laughs> Who said that? Yeah, get him to Skype in. Start playing. Because apparently he's not going to spell right. too. It's a magic numbers riser. <laughs> this ain't America. Plug a tail feather came in a fishbowl. Randy is so smart, says Lisa. Everywhere. Uh, especially when covered in glitter, says Sally Queen. I'm quoting, quoting some of these out of context. Just... This ain't America.
No more good times here When I crave just places stolen in my head and at my feet Tell them all he's gone to sleep Oh, freight train Run so fast, freight train Run so fast Don't tell them what train I could file them. I could file them. At Marino's, it was really bad because I I needed to go to the nail salon because at Marino's you play try to play really loud, so I'm using the back of my nail I think it's go well. and uh, see how the fake nail is like about a quarter of an inch up from the cuticle there. See that? Well, yeah. And when I'm trying to do Marino style, that part can get hung up on the string. The loud. <laughs> Just get caught in there a little bit, and it's like, ah, fuck. <clears throat> gotta go to the nail guy. We were hanging at 12. We could be proud of that. What's the most you've ever had? You broke 30, 40? On which? I went up on here. Oh, no, we've, we've broken 100 a couple of times. Oh, no kidding. Davis shows in particular. Mm. But uh, we've done good, like for like actually well advertised shows of mine. Usually hangs around How about fifty. Basement. As far as like, on average, is our, our um, Ustream average is fifty. We, we always have fifteen on average. And for like solo shows, it'll spike up between like fifteen and seventy, and then for like Davis shows, it'll break a hundred. But now we're, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out how to network and now we're going to just try to throw ourselves into interesting situations like Nashville and then Jazz Fest down in New Orleans. All the way up to Colon, Michigan for Abbott's Magic oh, the Annual uh, Flea Market. Stuff like that. So we're really <clears throat> trying to keep it... Uh, A lot of work. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome backdrop we have here, though. It's a real deal. The monkey lives here. We didn't get him for you. What's his name? <laughs> What's that? What's his name? I don't know. That could be a poll. Name the monkey. Name the monkey. You can't poll the name. Or suggestions. Mikey. It's Mikey the monkey. Really? Yeah, he's on the mic. 
Mikey the Monkey. I expected better from you, Nathan. I know what it, it is. Mikey the Monkey. Mikey. Paul, do you like Mikey the Monkey? Yes or no? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of the response will be overwhelmingly. Okay. No. Oh, come on. It's come on. Brainer. It's Mikey the Monkey. I'm voting no on Mikey the Monkey. <clears throat> you do have a Monster Energy Drink hat in the background. That's that's right. something I've never seen. Is Mikey the Monkey then his name? Start poll. Here we go. <sighs> Rennie really votes no. I'm voting no on Mikey the Monkey. Come on, Mikey the monkey. He's on, he's on a diaphragm microphone. He's really been holding down the microphone position really well. All right, it's one to one. Ooh, two to one. Yes, Mikey the monkey. Mikey the monkey. Three to one, oh, Mikey the monkey. I'm getting killed oh here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought people. Uh, Lisa says I want an alternate suggestion from Rennie. Yeah, that's. I, I should have seen. I should have seen that coming. There's okay. the rub. There lies there it is. the rub. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about his name is Rub? <laughs> rub. Liz, Liz, says, Liz says Rub, rub the monkey. <laughs> Whoa, oh, Rub the monkey. Actually, our polls are limited to four things, so there's there's four. I'm of glad nobody suggested. Right. <laughs> so we could each we could we each have a slot we could fill, and that's not what anybody said. About gnome, I like gnome. 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 Spell it. N o a m. Like Chomsky. Yeah. All right. Okay. Gnome. <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> Heather, do you have a, anything come to you over there? Liz says, uh, rub. rub the monkey. Uh, rub. <laughs> <laughs> Slap. It's pretty spank. good. No, it's, uh, yeah, somebody's gonna suggest spank at some point, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. <clears throat> okay, we're stopping this poll. Scan. By the way, that ended at four to two. For this is Mikey the Crushed. monkey right here. We've already identified. Hey, Mikey, how's hey, it going? Uh, hey, is, is, is this thing on? Hopefully, Mikey, we, Mikey, you on? Can we revisit Mikey. that later? <laughs> Mikey, you on? Is this thing on? Okay, I'm stopping that poll. Four to two. You are Mikey the Monkey. Poll. Alright, we are ready to take another poll here at a moment's notice. Um, I get so confused when I'm drinking in front of the camera. I'm supposed to sit on this monster hat can, now. Is that like. Wear, oh. can, you wear, can you wear the monster hat? Sure. Alright. I didn't think I'd ever seen a day. We don't even drink Monster. Phantom Power Mikey. Turn Mikey on. Is is the mic not on? Hey! Oh, the mic's on. <laughs> Flat Brick Monster. What is it? <laughs> Your hat, Flat Brick Monster. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna actually pull off right about now. If you go down to the bell, put your money in your head. Cause the women in deep hell, they would never think of that old sea mom. Oh, sweet mama. Daddy, goddamn. Here we go down to deep end. You better take a knife. Cause the men will take your money. Women will take your life. Oh, sweet mama. Daddy, goddamn. You better move. Mama, 
Once I knew a preacher preached the Bible through and through Well, he went down to the bell and now he's preaching days are through Oh, see my mom Yeah, they got them deep bell and blue Oh, see my mom Yeah, they got them deep bell and blue asking to be burned yeah we got a concrete floor and a monster hat <laughs> i gotta sleep in here though we could set it on fire though and then put it out right away i would do it in the driver you do that rub the monkey was the best i think i think rub the monkey's getting good reviews rub yeah i think rub might be taking taking it Tyler Queen like gnome. Huh? lighter fluid exactly on the M and set it on fire and put it on my head and pose like this for a second <laughs> and then take it off and stomp it out. Thanks for stopping me. I forgot this just in nobody's hat. Yeah, we could burn some shit. I mean, that's what it takes. Get the numbers up, whatever, you know. We'll burn shit, we'll whatever. Do or we're out of here. I mean, yeah, really, really. We mean it this time. <laughs> Who's way? 
my jeans she wore the time we played in the dirt. And I don't know who he is, but I think she was wearing his shirt. She looked good, she looked good, she looked so good. It hurt. She said, It's good to see you. How you been? I thought I was doing fine till I saw you. I didn't say that I held it in. My hands were shaking, I tried to smile, but with her it was always all or nothing. She looked good, she looked good, she looked so good. Good enough for love. We talked a while and then we parted. She went her way. As if I had my own and I couldn't stop thinking I couldn't wait to start drinking They say you shouldn't drink alone She looked good She looked good She looked so good It's really fun for those meandering songs to get nailed down because they don't very often. It's like to take the.
Absolutely. Anytime, anytime. That's why we're here. That's why we've come. You know, sweet, sweet dreams, sweet sleep. Do you get spring break this week? Mm -hmm. Like everyone else? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. That hat looks ridiculous. It does? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's frozen right now.
Um, this your song play? Yeah. yeah. I always get too, a little too carried away on those. Um, Sometimes it freezes when I'm really still and I look over and I can't tell when I start moving. <laughs> like is it frozen? Is the screen frozen or am I just really still? Then I just start moving. <laughs> it's frozen right now. Oh wait, I saw it move. No, it's moving. <laughs> It's green. Frozen screen. Can't hear though. Oh. Everything's wrong 